John, so we're going to get the uh, dissolving of parliament today. We're then going to head into an election. What's the setup into this election? How turbulent is Italian politics? Right, well, so far, the only certainty seems to be that we're going to get a, a hung parliament with neither Five Star nor the Democratic Party, which is second in the polls, nor even a possible centre right. Um, coalition uh, winning uh, an authority in Parliament, which means we may face weeks, months of uh, negotiation from after March, and possibly with the uh, a Plan B being a, a government headed by Prime Minister Gentiloni to uh, take Italy to possibly new elections in the autumn. Um, as we've discussed before, the, the PD is struggling to keep itself together. In fact, it's already seen a split to the left. Uh, will Mr. Mr. Renzi be heading up that party as it runs into the election? Yes, he's, he's the candidate for the premiership, but um, he is uh, showing signs that he's ready, willing to, to take a step aside because um, he ha is, is unpopular in, in for, for, for many critics even inside the Democratic Party and he's also uh, beyond the PD he's not seen as a figure who could actually um, coalesce uh, enough different forces different parties together Gentiloni in contrast who is a close ally of Renzi who was put in the premier's job by Renzi himself as it has emerged as not only a very popular figure, figure uh, one of the most the most popular politician in Italy uh, but also as a figure who's more uh, conciliatory and who could perhaps uh, manage to pull together a coalition John, thank you very much indeed. John Fulane joining us out of Rome.